compadre. La coordina. Ven acá. Cuando salgan de la pelea. The maestro of beauty is in town, and young women are out to win his attention. Tonight, San Cristobal will crown Miss Tachira, supposedly the prettiest woman in this western Venezuelan province. But there's a more tempting jewel here for these young entrants. The chance to parade in front of this man. Osmel Sosa, the sketch artist who turned his eye for beauty into an unrivaled reputation for moulding the world's most beautiful women. San Cristobal is a short drive from the Colombian border. Today, though, the dangers of living with a war-torn neighbour are a world away. The city of a quarter of a million is indulging in Venezuela's national obsession. Parading, cooing at, deifying its most beautiful. <laughs> Y esperé para poder tener la suficiente edad para a esto, hacer esto. 18-year-old Angela Villamizar and countless young women like her want to be Miss Venezuela. It's a long shot, but it could be her escape from work in her family's fast food business. Ayuda a mi mamá en la venta de empanadas. Y en que no, ahí mismo en la casa tenemos un negocio. Y ahí, bueno, tengo que ayudar a mi mamá. Somos pobres, humildes, pero ahí estamos nosotros. 2002, rumbo al Miss Venezuela. Suerte para todas. Muchísima suerte. Y hay un nombre más, por supuesto. Son cinco. Here, love the fact that you're Miss Venezuela. People here are very, very much into it. Ava Ekval has just married her male model boyfriend. She's 19 and a Venezuelan superstar. She's just been through a dizzying year as Miss Venezuela. Fourth place in Miss Universe. And now a career in writing on the strength of her star status. All this because at 17, on a whim, she wandered into a modeling agency. And the moment I walked in, the owner of the agency was there and said, You have to meet Osmel Sosa. The king of beauty kicked out one of his Miss Venezuela entrants to make way for Ava. There were girls that had to lose 25 kilos. So he just looked at me and said, yeah, you're, you're overweight, but it's okay. Did he say how much you had to lose? Yeah, he saw me and he said 10 kilos right away. Yo no sé si eso será un patrón porque yo nunca estudié dibujo. Eso yo lo hice sin nada. No tengo idea. Osmel Sosa is the Cuban-born former artist and dressmaker turned king of Latin America's physical beauty business. As you'll see, he's blunt in fact, to many, offensive, and utterly focused on his lifelong pursuit of perfect beauty. Bueno, sabes que yo, desde chiquito, fui dibujante y solamente dibujaba mujeres. Yo lo hacía mejor porque yo, yo trabajé, yo fui dibujante publicitario, especialista en figuras femeninas durante 10 años, y ya después no lo hice más nunca. Art with just one subject and one goal. Lo máximo eh, de, de belleza. Y es lo que trato de hacer ahora aquí.
It's the morning after Miss Tachira's crowning. Osmel and his lieutenants have finished breakfast at San Cristobal's Fantasy Castle Hotel. They're beginning a seven-month mission in the lead-up to Miss Venezuela's crowning night. To mould pretty girls into breathtaking women. They've ordered Miss Tachira and her two runners-up into bathing suits. Alongside Osmel is his smile doctor, dental surgeon Moises Kazwan. We change the color, we change the shape, and we do some surgery, gum surgery, especially to avoid those gummy smiles that are very opaque to the, to the face, you know. The smile is the, the frame of the face. We have to work very fast here, you know, we have no time for braces, you know, for orthodontic work. It has to be a work uh, like, a, would be, I would call it a permanent makeup. <laughs> and when push comes to shove, Dr. Smile does work quickly. How many have you done in any one day? Oh, it depends, you know, sometimes, you know, eight. Eight smiles eight a day. Eight smiles a day. But these seven-month makeovers will go way beyond the mouth. Every time the former artist spots a line he doesn't like, it's as though he rubs it out and makes it right. Plastic surgery, wherever it's needed. Yeah, only a couple of them practically don't get surgery. Most have surgery. Yeah, there's like 26, probably two of them don't. In my year, there were two girls who didn't get surgery. What about Ava Rickfall? I got surgery. <laughs> what did you have? Uh, my, my breast and my nose. Breast enlargement? And yeah, nose. And my nose. What happened? What did they do to your nose? A very small detail. I had a, a very Jewish nose, which was very thick and and, and a lot uh, bigger here. But I, it was just a small detail, really, that I wanted to get done. So it, since it was free, I got it done for free anyway. Ivanto Medi. They all had the exact same nose. And nobody looks good with the same with with the same nose, you know. I mean, everybody has a different face structure. There's a particular Miss Venezuela nose. Yeah, and I thought it was ridiculous. When I won, they wanted to change my nose <laughs> again, and I said no. Today, I dijo operada. ¿Quién te la hizo? Este Néstor Sánchez. Y la puntica está demasiado artificial. A lot of girls actually enter the pageant to get the surgery done. <laughs> Free surgery, why not? Why not? Entonces, la semana que viene, todo. Cuando era dibujante y yo hacía una cara, venía el cliente y me decía, ay, esa nariz no me gusta. Y entonces yo con la goma tenía que borrarla y hacerla de nuevo. Es lo mismo que la cirugía plástica. Eso fue una cirugía plástica. ¿Y la nariz? No, no. Bien. Osmel Sosa has also asked Angela to join the seven-month training program. Y se le pone una botica chiquitica en el labio de colágeno. Para aumentarlo. Aquí abajo, nada más. She wasn't picked last night, but he likes her. Porque de las cuatro, la que más pasarela tenía, a mí me dijeron que tú eras modelo, pero la que más era esta. 
Pero entonces van a ir, van a, ir a Caracas. Hoy una cosa que les voy a decir, para que les quede claro. Esto, y se van a ir quedando a medida que van evolucionando. It's very hard. It is. It's very, very difficult because you practically have to stop your routine, your life, to do this. Es decir, porque nosotros llevamos el año pasado unas niñas de, por ejemplo, el año pasado nosotros hicimos mis mis Lara. La mis Lara cuando llegó a Caracas, primero lo que hizo, primero que hizo fue engordarse y más nunca se rebajó. Some girls would get very sick. They would um, they would diet so much and they would they would really uh, mess up their bodies with, with different things. They would take diuretics and they would do all kinds of things. In the end, we're very, very damaging to your body. Es decir, es una escuela. Y ustedes van ni a pasear, ni a, ni a, ni a estar en Caracas de discoteca, ni nada de esto. Ustedes van es a prepararse como un atleta se prepara para unas Olimpiadas Internacionales. When you are in that world, it's not easy, that world. She knows all about international concepts of beauty and body shape. 52 girls wear Miss Universe. I am one. And that is incredible. <laughs> In 1996, Alicia Machado added to Osmel Sosa's extraordinary record of winning international beauty pageants. Venezuela's fourth Miss Universe, not to mention five Miss Worlds, all in the two decades of Osmel Sosa's reign. To get there, she says she had to beat the work of the world's best plastic surgeons. They say no. The Miss Universe company? They say, no, never I, I take uh, girls with plastic surgeries. It's not true. What's the truth? The truth is maybe 50 girls, 50 girls have plastic surgeries. About half the girls in the quest? Yes, in the, in the, in, on the pattern. They, they had, of course. And in Alicia's case? No, I don't have it. I promise. <laughs> no plastic surgery? No, no, no in my body. Only in my, in my earrings, in my... How do you say this? Ears. Uh -huh. In my ears, because I had something like this, like a Dumbo. I don't like that. <laughs> like Dumbo? <laughs> yes, like Dumbo. <laughs> now 24, Alicia Machado conforms to the notion that thin is beautiful, and Venezuela rewards her. Cat? She stars in a locally produced soap opera. <laughs> Young girls watch on. The message is unmistakable. To be what Venezuelans call a miss is a ticket to wealth and adoration. The tragedy is just as unmistakable. So few fit Osmel Sosa's utterly unyielding template for beauty. Yo, que he dibujado tanto la mujer, ya tengo la, la, la proporción ya metida en la cabeza como una computadora. En Venezuela, everything is about appearance, and it's the way you look, and the, it's the way the other people look at you. Caracas beauty school student Bridget Frick passes Osmel Sosa's rule about being thin, but fails another test, height. <laughs> I'm, I'm short. How tall are you? Yeah, I'm 165 in meters. I have no idea. I think I'm one, a five, six in inches. And that's not tall enough to be Miss Venezuela. No, you have to be 170 in meters, which is five, seven. The problem of the women is that many women are not harmonious. <laughs> <that's not laughs> And when he's finished on size, Osmel Sosa applies his computer-like limitations to race. I asked him why so many white girls win Miss Venezuela in a country where so many women are dark-skinned. The negro, because the negritud venezolana no es bonita. Si aquí hubiera una negra bonita, estaría en el concurso. A mí me da mucha envidia cuando voy a Colombia y veo negras bellas, pero las negras aquí no son bonitas. Y como no son bonitas, no pueden entrar al concurso. 
Yo, verdad que, que no comparto la opinión de, del señor Osmeur Sousa, porque yo soy una mujer negra y me siento una mujer bella. In a country that adores its beauty pageants, criticism is muted. But the head of Venezuela's National Union of Black Women, Reina Aratia, does take issue with Osmel Sosa's inflexibility. Este, los organizadores del concurso tienen una, una visión de lo que es la belleza y para ellos la belleza es una, en este caso, es una mujer de tez blanca, este, nariz perfilada, este, cabellos lacio, con unas medidas de... 90, 60, 90, con una altura de, de 1,80, uno, de 1,90, uno de uno pero yo creo que eso no es, es decir, eso no es realmente la mujer venezolana. El mercadeo mundial, en donde él sabe oler muy bien hacia dónde va el gusto mundial, hace establecer quizás que busquen mujeres blancas. Hay mujeres... Venezuelan author on beauty, Roberto de Vries, argues Osmel Sosa is in fact meeting beauty concepts for markets like North America, Europe and Australia as much as Venezuela. Though the raunchy billboards of Caracas and other Venezuelan cities suggest his mold is right on the mark for local demand anyway. E inclusive en muchos estudios de imagen dentro de las personas más importantes del país, la gente dice y la gente expresa que Osmel Sousa es quizás el gerente de mayor éxito en el país en los últimos años. Esto no lo tiene que grabar él. Many are driven by that promise to seek out Sousa-style breasts, cheeks and noses, even if they can't afford to have it done properly. Pero sí, ya uno tiene un nombre. Mucha gente, después que ha ido una persona que cree que es el mejor y la deja mal, pues busca otra alternativa. Bruno Pasillo's waiting room is a shrine to the beautiful who've benefited from his 27 years as a plastic surgeon. Today, though, he's operating to patch an unqualified doctor's hatchet job on Edith Silva. Fue muy a la ligera, pues. fue algo como un boom de repente ir a la peluquería, qué sé yo. When the 30-year-old complained of pain and a belt-like scar left after fat removal from her waist, her supposed plastic surgeon changed the subject. Vamos a, este, tienes un poco de flacidez en los senos, vamos a ponerte los lindos, tienes una buena cintura, no tienes nada de barriga. Pues me atreví y lo hice. ¿Qué le parece? Este, me hice los senos y fue peor. El implante mamario de ella estaba colocado detrás del músculo pectoral. Yo en mi vida nunca he puesto las prótesis por detrás del músculo. Siempre por delante del músculo y por detrás de la glándula mamaria. The victim of a surgeon incapable of implanting two breasts in the same way. Tenía mucho dolor desde el principio, la segunda operación. Qué bueno, seno. Este, el, el, el seno derecho. Edith Silva will never recover the body she had, let alone the one she wanted. Dr. Persillo says fake surgeons are tragically common, catering to those among the 80% of Venezuelans who are poor, but still feel the need to meet the national standards for beauty. Pienso que aquí hay muchos problemas, pero que no salen a la luz pública. Por ejemplo, yo tuve 25 casos de la ciudad de Maracaibo, de una supuesta cirujano plástico que infiltró unos biopolímeros, no sé qué cosa. Y le hizo un desastre, porque y eso se le puso como una, como una especie de gangrena. Se le destruyó la piel, los ojos, le salía pus. Y, y, y yo operé a tres nada más, porque me di cuenta que era imposible. Era tal el daño que tenían. It's not easy to be ugly in this country. It's not easy, I think that. Sin embargo, la noche en Venezuela es la noche que todo el mundo espera. Es un fenómeno social. 
September is dividend time for the Miss Venezuela Quest. Over seven months, the private company sinks a reported $130,000 into the extraordinary preparation of each entrant. Now the biggest show on Venezuelan television pays it back with profits. And no one's too worried about that arch enemy of beauty pageants in other countries, feminism. Do as I did and mention some feminist concerns in the rarefied locker rooms of the good looking and the king of beauty turns ugly. In group of feminists, I don't take one of the one. OK, Monsica. He's not interested in arguments about women reduced to objects, and here his success allows him to scoff at those who make the arguments. Lamentablemente son todas muy feas. Además, entonces que no se metan más conmigo, con nosotros. Para no decirles feitas que no se metan más con nosotros, ¿verdad? We offered Venezuela's sketch artist turned queen maker a pad and pencil to show us his ideal woman. Big lips? <laughs> Is Osmel Sosa wrong to be so rigid in his view of beauty? Lots of hair. Sí, mucho. Any particular colour hair? No. Or just more perceptive and blunt about the lines that follow some universal code of good looks. La mujer más bella del mundo. <laughs>